Hello viewers, what's happening with everyone today? So, so if you own a Ryzen 5 5600G or Ryzen 7 5700G, you can easily overclock to get yourself some performance boost. So in, in this video, we'll try to figure out how to do that. Since this is an ov easy overclock, we're not gonna overclock too much. We're just gonna overclock a little bit to a point where it's safe. Okay, and since this is an easy overclock, you'll pr you can probably get away with using your stock cooler, but I would highly recommend you to using an aftermarket cooler. And uh, this is the cooler that I'm using. Uh, this is a cooler by Deep Cool uh, Game Max 400 CPU air cooler, and uh, this uh, this comes with one fan, and you can also install another fan. Although it comes with extra clips, so it'd be easy to install. And for 15 bucks, you, you, you just can't go wrong. Uh, just by using this cooler, I was able to reduce my CPU temperature for about 4 degrees Celsius. So it, it was totally worth it. I'm using a Ryzen 5 5600G and B450M motherboard, uh, which is a perfect combination because if you're using an APU, uh, buying an expensive motherboard would be a, like a waste of money. So 450 would be a perfect choice. So if we look at the Ryzen 5 specification here, we can see uh, that it has a base clock of 3.9 and it can boost up to 4.4. We'll just uh, go up to 4.2. And if we look at the graphics frequency here, we can see that it runs at like a, uh, 1900 megahertz, but I was able to boost it up to 2200. Let's see how to get these things done. Okay, to do this, restart your computer and keep pressing the delete key while you're restarting. Okay, now that we are in BIOS, we, can, uh, we need to go to the OC tweaker and set the overclock mode to manual and uh, come to the CPU frequency and voltage change to manual. In order to increase the CPU frequency, you must increase voltage. So, and whenever you increase voltage, your temperature will go up high. So your goal here is to like the, use the least voltage possible to increase the frequency. So let's get to it. So for me, I find like a, you need to come to the CPU frequency and voltage change and set that to manual and set the frequency to 4200 here and set the voltage to 1.3. For my motherboard, I find this like completely stable, but if you have any, uh, if you encounter any kind of problem with your motherboard, just reduce the frequency a little bit, like 4100. Okay, after this, this one is set, go to your advanced and go to AMD overclocking. You'll have to accept because AMD is not responsible uh, for any kind of damage if you overclock, uh, if you mess up during during overclock. Uh, just accept the terms and condition, and you're gonna go to manual iGPU overclocking, and set the GPU clock frequency to 2200. Remember, it's like it says 1900, but you can go. I was able to go to 2200. Uh, for me here, if I look at the description, it says specifies a custom gfx core voltage in millivolt so this is not in volt this is uh in millivolt so one volt equals to 1000 millivolt so i want to set this volt to 1.3 so uh 1.3 volt should be 1300 millivolt so i put that value to 1300 so if you have like a something different so m make sure you pay attention to the uh the unit is it in millivolt or is it in volt so right here so i put that to 1300 that means 1 1.3 volt so if i put one more zero here it's gonna fry my computer so uh make sure you put that to 1300 not 13,000. okay after that's done just uh save and quit save changes and uh, exit okay now we are back in windows now we need to check if our overclocking worked just press your windows button and type in name and click the view your PC name and you can see I'm getting 4.2 gigahertz so that's pretty good our overclocking is working for my CPU and now we need to check our GPU frequency to check the GPU frequency you need to have a software installed that is called HW info uh, we'll type it in here it will show you a whole bunch of summary report just cross out of that and to check your GPU frequency, just click your video adapter and select the AMD Radeon Vega and expand that 
and right here you can see the graphics processor clock is 2200 so i was able to successfully overclock my gpu as well and to check the cpu temperature and control fan speed i use a program called speed fan and if i turn it on here uh, you can see in the speed fan dashboard my uh, cpu is uh, running at 38 degrees celsius using that deep cool uh, air cooler that i'm using uh, so this is i would assume this is a completely safe temperature so if you're planning to do this i would highly recommend getting an aftermarket air cooler you don't have to get that exact same one you you can get something similar uh, but do get an aftermarket cooler uh, so i hope this little tutorial was helpful to you be sure to like and subscribe thank you so much for watching you have a good one